We recently had our Meet Your Authors Forum. I hope you got to watch the report on it last week. It was fun and inspiring for all of us who were there, mainly because of the many insights shared by our guest authors. They got us thinking about how to handle our personal finances and businesses much better. Here are a few more things they shared and feedback we got from guests. The truth is money has no value in itself. In itself, the word spelled M-O-N-E-Y has no value. Because from it, you cannot get happiness and you cannot find fulfillment until it is in exchange for something. So even though I was, you know, working in an oil service company as the chief accountant, the money I was getting from there was not getting me anywhere. Money in itself has no meaning, except God inspires you. Investing is completely for the long term. And for long term, if you're investing in stocks, I really look at way over five years. The money you need to pay school fees with in January cannot be in the stock market. And budgeting is absolutely important. And you budget everything, including entertainment. How much money do you have coming in? 5% savings, 10% tight, 20% entertainment, 10% uh, emergency fund. You must budget your money, as in give it an assignment before the money comes, so that immediately it comes, it goes into that account. Because you want to take care of your family, you guys want to go on holiday, right? Good, so the money must come out of money. Don't go and borrow money to go and hold on, on holiday. Oh. If you don't have it, then you tell your family, you know what, well, we can't afford it. And it's okay. Mentoring is a very, very necessary instrument in moving forward in areas that you are skeptical or scared about or intimidated about. I think a mentor stands in a position of, you know, somebody hearing from the horse's mouth and realistically too, not just reading from the book. Reading from the book is hearing from a horse's mouth. Being under the guidance and tutelage and mentoring of a mentor puts you in a better position to apply it to your business life or your personal life. So I think that mentors don't only, uh, will not only speak to you their personal journey, their personal experience, they will also stand in there as encouragers, people who will encourage you to take the next step forward. And I think that goes a long way to actualizing what you have read. There's a very interesting adage where it says, take your age, away from 100 and that is the percentage that should be in stocks it's just a funny thing but if you're 100 if you're 80 years old you don't really want to have all your money in the stock market you need income you need cash but if you're in your 20s you have the most incredible opportunity to buy mutual funds to save for the long term, especially for those of you who are living with parents, you're not paying rent, you've still got a lot of luxuries from parents helping you out. You can afford to really be more aggressive because even though it will go in cycles, you have the time frame to recover from any, any falls. Find another stream of income. There's something you have that you are despising. There's a lady that moi moi took her to the White House. Moi, say moi moi. Moi moi. Moi moi took her to the White House and she met Michelle Obama. Moi moi. And she was cooking the moi moi from home. You have certain gifts and it's the gift of a man that will create room for him and bring him before kings. Don't despise your gift. I know you want to sing and blow. The musician we eat of, 
You understand what I'm saying? And they will dry clean their clothes. They will wear shoes. What is it that you are passionate about and you are gifted in? That can be an extra revenue for you. And guess what? It, you will do it effortlessly if it's a gift. It's Easter season. We thought we should recommend something inspiring to read during the Easter holiday period. Here are two books you can pick from. Check out these two books by Titi Horsfall. Influence of a King. Influence of a King spans the globe during a time of harrowing worldwide events. The Great Depression, the drought of America's Dust Bowl years, World War II and post-war developments, and captures the essence of faith and the power of choices. Can two individuals with nothing in common, yet everything happening around them, including the choices made on their behalf, establish an uncommon love and fulfill a greater purpose? Set in England, America, and Nigeria, this sweeping love story delivers an active perspective of tumultuous historic events as well as the human interplay in interracial harmony and religious identity. From an Orphan to a Queen, Esther, published 2012, Deeper River Books, USA. Before she was Queen Esther, she was just Adasa, a lowly orphan girl growing up against a backdrop of turbulent political times. Chosen by the king, young Esther was forced to replace another wife, mother and queen. With the encouragement of her uncle Mordecai, Esther risked a life, revealing her identity as a Jew to influence the king to reverse an execution order against her people. Her brace actions forever changed the course of history. None of us get to choose the circumstances we're born into. Yet, as Esther's timeless and inspiring story reveals, God takes pleasure in fulfilling his purpose through ordinary people with willing hearts. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. We look forward to getting your feedback through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. I am Olakule Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.